but getting the wind knocked out of you is the only way to remind your lungs how much they like the taste of air. Cheer Life. I'm going to be talking about cheer about this season, next season, and where my life is going to go throughout um, this next year. And yeah. Okay, so excuse any noises. Um, I have a bunch of dogs in my room. So this is Shay's Cheer Life. I made this a year ago. Because I th thought I would do cheer a lot more than I th that than I am. This is gonna be my last year of cheer because I'm getting older and I want to experience my life. Because every single time I need every single time I want to do something, I always have cheer is always involved in some way. So, this is going to be my last year of competing. I still want to tumble and stay in the gym and stuff like that. One that pushed, that really pushed it is that my injuries are getting so high up there where um, I'm going to get um, x-rays and that kind of stuff for my shoulder because my shoulder has been hurting since year one of cheers. I've been doing it for three years now. Um, and... I started the channel my second year of cheer um, just because um, a lot of cheer channels were um, were aging out which a lot of people were older and they aged out because they're around my age when YouTube take took off so they started theirs and now they all most of them have aged out um, or they've quit cheer I thought I could be you know a cheer YouTube channel and that was going to go all the way through 18. I'm 16. So, that's kind of uh, sucky, but my shoulder has gotten too much. Um, I actually overextended my knee. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I figured it out last night when I had cheer, um, cheer practice. I'm pretty sure it's when I do a round off and I have, and on my rebound, I step out. I'm pretty sure on my rebound step out, I overextended my right knee because I tumble with my left, so I'll step out backwards on my right. So I'm pretty sure I did that. Like, it, and this has been hurting for like three, four weeks, and I could not figure out why. Well, I just re overextended it when I did that last night, and I was like, oh. Duh! <laughs> that's why, that's why, because everyone thought I overextended it from a front walkover, but I'm a lefty, so that couldn't really work. So, also, so, like, my shoulder, my knee, my ankle has been hurting me since I was eight years old, like, so there's just a lot of stuff that I need to take a break from, and I will start, I will still be tumbling, I hopefully can still go watch the girls and stuff like that because they're still my friends like you know I I support all the teams in the in the I support all the teams that are by me um there are four teams and I support all of them um then there is one um gym traveling team which they rent different gyms and they're like one team and they rent different gyms to like practice in so there's basically five teams in my like town and like I support all of them no matter what they do um, and I'm friends with a lot of them that are from different teams. I'm never one of those competitive teams. I don't like I I'm not one of those kids that are really competitive against other kids like if you win that's amazing as long as we're bringing it home to our town. That's all I care about. So there's that. And there's been a lot of, ever since I started, there's been a lot of drama because my first year, all my gym has, my gym split into two. Um, one went on one side of the town one went on the, and one was on the other side of the town. So our gyms are totally split 
on two sides of our town. And so we're, and they got a different name and stuff like that. So that was, that was one drama thing that has happened. <laughs> um, last year we had about four to five girls, um, quit and come in, um, and stuff like that. So we had people, uh, we had people switching in and out all the time. Um, and it was going to be my last year as a junior. And then for seniors, um, I'm the only, I'm the oldest girl in my team. So it's, I'm the oldest girl in my team. So I'm the only senior. Everybody else is junior and lower. We have tiny preps and tinies and stuff like that. So we have like tinies all the way up to juniors and then I'm the only senior. And next year they probably won't have senior. Well, it just depends if people like come into our gym. But the way it is now and the way like a lot of the senior girls we have stuff to do. Like I want to get my driver's license. I'm 16 and I still can't get my driver's license because... I need to go to class for it, but I'm kind of busy and whenever class, ever, whenever the class times are, I have cheer one of those days and you go like every single day. So I can't do that and so I have to wait till this season's over. Um, a lot of my 4-H stuff with my guinea pig, um, I've been either having to miss or I have to miss cheer for that. It's a bunch of stuff. So, and I had a week off of cheer for um, Thanksgiving break, and I actually didn't miss it. That's when I realized that I am better off not doing cheer is when you don't miss it. Because whenever I would take a break for the last two years I would want to tumble I would want to stunt and stuff like that like I wanted to get back in the gym and when this week I never even thought about going to the gym I never even thought about oh I'm bored like I never really thought about that stuff that's when I know that I really lost that passion for cheer I still love cheer I still love the um peppiness of it I still love like everything I love the atmosphere that it gives off it's just the physical aspect I don't meet anymore I really don't want to leave any of the girls because I have made really good friends there and I have worked my butt off um, to get where I am now and I don't want to let that go. And all the tinies really like me and stuff like that. So I'm not going to leave my gym behind. I will be doing, hopefully I'll be doing um, working out vlogs. I'm going to start working out at a um, gym right across the street from me. Or right, at, uh, right down the street from me. So I'll start working out at the gym. I'll still be doing YouTube, of course. Um, just, I'll actually probably be doing more. Um, if I go to any, um, cheer competitions, I will vlog it. Um, this year I am vlogging almost all my, comp almost all my competitions. I'm going to a competition in Canada, so that's one thing that's really cool. Um, and then I'm, I think we're going to Oregon and Seattle and that type of stuff um, for like the bigger competitions, I guess. Um, my Our first competition is local, of course. Um, well, seniors are, juniors have one competition before us because we actually just um, got our rough cut of our music and now we have to edit it and um put sounds in it and stuff like that we just finished our routine like we have like a showcase um the coaches have been talking about having a showcase next week but i'm hoping not because 
Um, I th not none of our teams are ready, really. Um, uh, as far as um, mentally ready, because we have a lot of kids who are new and that have never competed before, and I think I think they. <laughs> I don't think they're ready to go out there yet because, um, like when I first started, they just threw me into it and I was like, like it was so overwhelming. I was so scared and it was so overwhelming and I'm like, I wish they would have prepared me more for this and I don't really think the girls are prepared enough. Because, like, I went through what they're going through right now, and it sucks, and it's scary. And then your second year, you're like, okay, I can do this. Then, you know, and then it goes on and on and on. But for me, I caught a lot of girls off guard by, like, last night. I I said that this is going to be my last year. I don't know what was hap I don't know what was going on, like, uh... I don't remember what was going on, but I told one of the girls it was my last year that I'm not going to do this next year. And she looked at me and she said, well, what do you mean? You're only 16. You know, aging out is 18. I'm like, yeah, but I'm getting a little bit old for this. And she didn't, she didn't understand what I meant by that. But my body, like my, literally my body is old for this, like. I've always been a big girl my whole entire life and that's just who I am and stuff like that so and I'm and I'm not self-conscious about that anyways so whoever it is like I'm not at all so but it does take a toll on your body for one for two like it's harder on your shoulders, your knees, your ankles. It's harder on every joint, every joint. It's harder on your body because there is so much weight going on that and pushing down and pulling. And for doing this for how many years and also me just learning how to do it correctly this year. Like... So for two years, I was doing almost all my skills incorrectly where I would get hurt and then that would, that would set me back. And also when I was younger, when I was three and five, I popped my right shoulder out twice. So, and now it's hurting more. So they're pretty sure it's a related injury to me popping out my shoulder twice when I was little. And they basically said that every single time you pop it out, you have permanent damage to that. I have permanent damage to my shoulder. And I really can't push anymore to do any of this stuff. And, like, literally last night we did, like, 10, 15, like, full outs, hit them all, and I was dying and my coach wanted me to do one more and I looked at her and I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, this, like, and she knows how much it hurts and stuff like that. And so she's like, just do one more and then I'll let you rest, you know? And, like, none of the girls have seen me that much in pain where I'm like, I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to get it done and over with because like I was done with it and that's been a lot of my like me that's been a lot of everything um for cheer is just so emotional stuff where I'm not the emotional person like I've never been a, an emotional person but cheer has brought that out in me where I'm like, there's just so many girls and so much petty stuff going on where, you know, and not all cheer is like, like not, not everything's like that, but it's like the two girls out of like 
every team or whatever, you're just like, like every, every gym, there's always like two girls or whatever, where that makes cheer, cheer, like that, that's like the staple for cheer, I hate it, like I hate that's the staple, but it is, and everybody thinks that's me, and I'm not that, and so when people find out that I'm a cheerleader, they instantly and automatically put that label on me where I'm this petty girl and I'm not. And I don't want to be known as that. And I think that's really held me back from a lot of stuff right now. And I'm hoping that that perspective changes. And I want to change that perspective. But right now, I have to move myself from that perspective because it's really going to hurt me in the long run. Especially when... I'm trying to, like, like, I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff with 4-H and stuff like that, and there's, and for a hometown kid like me, you start at, like, 12 or 13, I'm not gonna go to the big leagues at all, like, I know that. Like, I'm not gonna go to Top Gun, I'm not gonna go to California All-Stars, I'm never gonna win Worlds, like... That's, I know that. And so when, and I just think right now, and I'm never going to benefit from cheer. Because when, it depends when you get into it, how much you can do stuff. Because I really can't. And so, benefit, and so some people can benefit, I can't. So, I'm taking myself out now from cheer, and, um, well, I'm taking myself out next year from cheer, and getting my life together, getting my perspective back on who I actually am, and stuff like that. So, um, I'm not saying that cheer is horrible, I'm not saying that all-star cheer is petty or anything like that. What I'm saying is that people's perspective is is that and I don't want that perspective even though you know and I'm saying basically that I'm tired of this perspective I'm tired of um, getting hurt um, and yeah I love traveling I love performing um, I love the team aspect, but some stuff I can't, I can't take anymore and I can give up those good things for that. So, sorry to get into everything and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Or not enjoy this, but take something from this. Um, if it, you know, and trust me, not everybody's gonna end up like me in my case. Um, because everybody's different, of course. So, um, keep an eye out. out Keep an eye out for all my vlogs. I am starting um, probably in two months for my vlogs. I'll do a couple of practice vlogs. Um, I might start doing 4-H vlogs on here too. And I might change this to Shay's Life um, because I'm not going to be doing cheer that much anymore. So, um, but keep an eye out for all my cheer vlogs um, about next, about two months after this. Um... And yeah, bye.